In this problem, it says a heat pump is used to heat a house, and it runs about one-third of the time. And it says the house is losing heat at an average rate of 22,000 kilojoules per hour. If the coefficient of performance of the heat pump is 2.8, determine the power the heat pump draws when running. So the first thing we want to do, I always start with a problem setup. So this is a drawing. So we kind of want to do a drawing of the problem and write down the information that we're given and what we're looking for. So I'm just going to draw the house just so we have it. Um, so we have a heat pump, put that here, and it's, so this heat pump is heating the house. So what it's doing is it's pulling heat from the outside and it's putting it into the house. So we have QL, so this is heat that's be, being removed from the outside, and that heat is being put into the house. So here's Q high. And this is, requires some amount of work. So in order to transfer heat from cold to hot, we need to input work. Otherwise, that's not possible. So the network is what we're looking for. So it's asking for the power to, it's asking to determine the power of the heat pump. So this work is what we're looking for, the work input to the heat pump. And then it gives us, so this is kind of what the heat pump, it also tells us that the house is losing heat at an average rate of 22,000 kilojoules per hour. So I'm going to write this as Q out of the house is equal to 22,000 kilojoules per hour. And it gave us the coefficient of performance for the heat pump. It's 2.8. So this is really the information that we're given. But we can kind of decipher what Q high is based on the information that is giving us about the heat that's lost from the house. So it's telling us that the house is losing 22,000 kilojoules per hour on average. And it also tells us that the heat pump runs, so the um, heat pump runs about one third of the time. So what we can do is, so if the heat pump is losing 22,000 kilojoules per hour and we want to maintain a constant temperature, then we need to be adding about 22,000 kilojoules per hour into the house. So this is just to maintain a constant temperature. If that's the amount, if we're losing 22,000, so I'm just going to write that out. So if losing 22,000 kilojoules per hour from house, then you need to add 22,000 kilojoules per hour of heat to maintain the temperature. If you add, if you want to heat up the house, you need to add even more. If you add less, then the house is going to cool off. But if you want to maintain the temperature, then you need to add the same amount of heat that the house is losing. And then we also know that the heat pump runs one third of the time. So the heat pump runs one-third of the time. So what this means is that the heat pump has to supply a rate, it has to supply heat at a rate that's three times what's being lost because it's only running one-third of the time. So we know that Q high has to be equal to three times 22,000 kilojoules per hour. So the, so the heat pump needs to be supplying 66,000 kilojoules per hour. So we know that that's Q high. And that might be a little bit 
confusing. But the reason why is because, so if the heat pump was running constantly, like it never turned off, then Q high, it would only need to supply 22,000 kilojoules per hour. But since it's only running one third of the time, it has to supply three times what, like three times the heat that's being lost per hour in order to keep up and maintain, um, in order to supply the same amount of heat that's being lost and therefore maintain the temperature. So based on the information that was given, we were able to kind of come to, a, like we were able to figure out what Q high is as well. So now let's write our assumptions. So the main assumption I can think of is that we want our heat pump to be operating at a steady state. If it's not operating at a steady state, that's going to make our analysis a lot harder. So heat pump operates at steady state. All right, now let's write down our equations. So it's asking for the coefficient of performance for the heat pump. So I'm going to go ahead and write the equation for the coefficient of performance for the heat pump. It's equal to Q high over the work. And we and actually what we're looking for is the work. And we know the coefficient of performance because that was given. And we know the Q high because we just calculated that. So what we can do is we can solve this equation for the work. So the work is equal to Q high over the coefficient of performance. So this is equal to Q high is 66,000 kilojoules per hour divided by, and then the coefficient of performance is 2.8. And so this works out to 23,571 kilojoules per hour. Let's convert this to, let's convert our hour to seconds just so we can write this as a unit of watts because that's a more typical unit that you would write power in. So one hour per 3,600 seconds, which is equal to 6.55 kilojoules per second. And then this is kilojoules per second is just kilowatt. So that means that our the work that we need to supply to the heat pump in order to maintain the temperature in the house by replacing the heat that was lost is 6.55 kilowatt.